Four things why I haven't been uploading. Number one, I am packing on a trip to go to Canada, which is a really important trip. So I'm planning the vlog and if you guys want to see that, just comment down below. Number two, I was working on a logo and banner and it's on my page now. So you can just check it out. You guys can comment and see if you like it or not. I, I actually like it. It's actually pretty cool looking. Number three, there was a power outage on no, not power outage, a Wi-Fi outage in Comcast in my area on Monday, so I couldn't really get anything done. And that brings us to number four, which I was recording a video and it messed up on the recording and I was recording on the phone too. And so that video is going to have to be on Saturday or Sunday, something like that. I'll have to plan it some other time, but I couldn't get anything done because of that Wi-Fi outage and my freaking phone so yeah anyways guys let's go back to the video oh, wow. all right what is up all you epic people my name is Epic Gamer, and welcome back to another video where today i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your OBS software. Now, some of you guys actually wanted to see this because of my old video was, um, it was not that good compared to now that I'm going to try to update it. So this is just an update video and this is for OBS Studio. Now, I'll put a link in the description on basically how to download that. And yeah, it's just gonna be really simple. Alright, but anyways, before we do start this video, let's try to hit 7 likes. I know we can do it, and let's get to it. This video is just for only the people who want to record something, because some of um, you guys actually wanted me to update this video. So I'm just going to go through the settings, and I'm just going to pause while, while you copy it, or and I'm going to actually explain what mostly each thing means some of the things i have no clue i just keep it like that so just copy it and it works pretty good so yeah so you want to just go to settings and go to stream this is where you put in your stream information if you do stream you should know how to do this if you don't i can do a video on that but it's just probably gonna it's not even gonna take that long so basically all you go to your streaming website and they should give you all this stuff you just put it in here then you want to go to output just click audio track 1 encoder 264 with that rescale output is only for if you have a 1080 monitor or 4k or 1440 and you want to downscale it to 720 or 1080 depending on what size monitor you have so you want to click that if you do want it at 720 and if your monitor is a higher rate but other than that um you want to keep it the same size as your monitor the bit rate i'll put a picture up of youtube bit rates and it'll tell you what kind of frames per second it'll have and what kind of quality this is 1080p 60 right here i'm pretty sure 8000 is 720 60 frames um, but 8,000 to 12,000 is good range for me. So yeah, this stuff right here, um, this, if you're running a really hardcore game on your PC and it's not that good, you want to put it at very fast to ultra fast, depending on how good your PC is. But for the really good games, you want to just put it to fast to medium around here is the good games and hardcore games are there. Yeah, then leave everything else. Recording, you want to click standard, uh, make a folder for your files to go in, and you can just make it on your second hard drive if you have one because it'll put less strain on the first hard drive. Then you want to change the recording format to MP4. You can click all of these audio tracks if you want, but I only use three. The encoder, you want to click use stream encoder because we already just did the streaming thing and it's already set up. so. You just put that as the same streaming thing and then the rescale thing is the same thing on here when you did it then the audio just put all of these at 320 because that's the best um bit rate that it can get so you might as well just get it to the highest then you want to go to the actual audio section and then you want to click the sample rate one of these 
but if there is one that has 25k do not click it unless you know what you're doing channels make it on stereo because stereo is obviously better than mono desktop audio device change it to the speakers that you have i have my headphones right here so you just put it right there um second one that's for like if you have speakers i guess i don't use them so i just keep one um the mic uh, i just put my mic and i don't need any of it else if um basically if you're playing with some friends uh it'll just be tracked in the speakers so you don't have to add more mics or anything or more audio devices unless if you want to edit them out but i don't know how to do that and so if you want to do that just look up multiple speakers on obs studio or something like that and they should probably tell you how to do it right here that just keep it like that unless if you want enable push talk push to mute and all that crap then you gotta go to video um, change it to however the size you want. I just kept it on by cubic for 16 samples. I think it's good for my videos, so yeah, I just kept it like that. And for the com um, for the FPS, I put it as 60. So change it to common FPS values, and you can change it to however however FPS you want. Basically, it on that. Hotkeys. I put it as numpad 1 and 2, but apparently it just said end and down because that's the numpad buttons. I don't know what happened. I think they're messed up. I, I, I don't know why, but who, who cares? It still works. Advanced, just keep it all normal. Unless if this is OpenGL, you want to change it to Direct3D11 or something like that. And yeah, that's pretty, basically it. I'm just going to go through this one more time so you guys can pause the video and copy down what i am showing you guys so i'll put that streaming i'm just gonna leave it for like five seconds but you guys can pause this anytime you want so i'll just leave it now we're gonna go to recording by the way this is not gonna be like not highlighted for you guys i'm only recording on obs so that's why it's not highlighted So just don't pay attention that it's all blacked out. Alright, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it's a short one. I'm probably going to bring you a gameplay or another tutorial on Saturday. I'm super sorry that I haven't been uploading. I really wanted to upload, but on Monday it just wouldn't work. I couldn't record anything. And I, I got really depressed. Well, like, not so depressed that, like, you know, but... <laughs> Anyways, I, I just, like, I just felt like out of the mood to do a video after that but i just pushed myself to do this one because i really needed to get one out because you guys haven't been getting any videos for the past like three upload schedules so anyways guys thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video uh comment down below if you want to see more in-depth tutorial on anything in this program or just anything in general i guess um, comment down below any game ideas. I know one of my friends actually wants me to play this game called Outlast. It's a horror game and I saw it. It's actually pretty scary looking and I think it would be a good gameplay to have on this channel. Because you guys would probably be laughing at my suffering. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, it is, it also is on sale because the Steam sales are freaking here. I'm so hyped. I am so hyped. Hooray. Anyways, guys, back to the outro. Um, thank you guys for watching. I already said that like three times. Jesus, stay epic. Oh no, I accidentally clicked. No, jump.